Hey guys, it's Naomi, and you should subscribe and become my homie. I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night. I decided it would be awesome to share with you guys the best online school tips ever. I watched the top 10 videos that came up when I searched online school tips on YouTube, and I compiled a very long list of all of the tips. So this is like the epic online school tips video. If you would like to watch those videos, they'll be linked below. The creators include Ava Jules. She actually has two of the videos of the 10. Study Quill, Susan Carolyn, Jacqueline Brook, Study Bright, Alicia Marie, Study to Success, Revisign, Revisign, I'm not exactly sure I say that, and Erica Michelle. They all had amazing tips, but when I was watching, I was making a list and I was like, you know what? I should post a YouTube video, but I'm giving them full credit, guys. Like, go watch their videos. They're all really helpful. They go further into detail on their tips, but since I have so many tips within this video, I'll just be giving brief summaries with each tip. The tips are split up into four parts. Plan, stop procrastinating, school, and health. I also have an epic cheat sheet linked below with all of these tips written out that you can download. Also, if I'm looking down, it is because I'm reading the list off of my laptop, which is directly below my phone. So I'm really hoping that's not annoying throughout the video. I've been working really hard to look in the camera, but just in case, that's what I'm looking at. To start, plan. Tip number one, make a routine and stick to it. It's important to differentiate between work days and chill days. So you need to have a specific routine for work days so that when you have your chill days, they're not coinciding and you don't confuse your chill days for work days and vice versa. To go off of that, tip number two is go to sleep at a decent hour and wake up before 9 a.m. I personally like waking up at 7 a.m. and then I go to bed usually around 10 or 11, but it is important to fit it into your schedule to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep because a healthy sleep schedule equals a healthy person, better mindset, better skin, you feel better, you're more energized, and you can get the most out of your day. Also, if you sleep in too late, you're losing so much of your time. And most of us have classes during the day, so why sleep in past them or be asleep during the classes? Tip number three is to get a planner and learn to use it. A lot of people get planners and they never use it. Utilize what you can. Planners are at Dollar Tree for $1, okay? So what you can do is on your monthly spread, you can color coordinate the colors of your classes to pens you use to write in your calendar. Then you can write down deadlines and assignments and Zoom class times and know exactly which class it is just by looking at what color it is. It's so organized, it looks really nice, and it's kind of fun to do. Tip number four is to split up your tasks by priority. So start off by making like one epic task list, then go through and do it like from one to 10, one being what you prioritize the most and 10 being what you prioritize the least. Tip number five goes hand in hand with the previous one. You want to make a list at the beginning of the week and make sure your priorities are in order. And then also make a list every single day using that list from the beginning of the week. Your week will be almost like a reference list so that you know what big assignments are coming up and you can be like, okay, today I'm gonna write four pages for that paper that's due on Friday so that you're not writing all of your paper Thursday night. And once you have all of your lists, learn how to time block. It's not worth it to like put all of this time into one subject because trust me, you don't do the same amount of thorough work on one subject for that length of time. Split it up by one to two hour increments and make sure you're taking breaks in between to just like give your brain a rest. All right, moving on to our second section, stop procrastinating. Tip one is to reward yourself throughout the day by with like little incentives, okay? You just finished a really difficult class, your least favorite class, now go eat breakfast, make breakfast, or go make your coffee drink, or make some tea, or give yourself a gold sticker. I think that's what Ava Jules does, and I love that idea. I love stickers too. Such a cute idea. Go outside, play with your dog, go say hi to your mom, high five your younger sibling. Whatever it is that makes you like happy, just like take a second to do that 
in between classes, in between homework assignments, but do not go on your phone. That is a trap, okay? Even if you think that you are the queen of not spending too much time on your phone, just don't do it. You're already looking at a screen so much, why look at a screen for a longer amount of time? Going off of that tip, tip number two, is to remove distractions. Okay, this is very important. So if your distraction is your phone, which I clearly cannot relate with, no, I can, my biggest distraction is my phone, put it on airplane mode, put on do not disturb mode, whatever you need to, just to like get it out of the way. Let's say your biggest distraction is a family member, a little sibling, an older sibling. Me and my siblings always do this where like, if we're procrastinating work, we'll go bother someone and it doesn't help ourselves and it doesn't help the other person who's going to procrastinate by us procrastinating so just like set a boundary be like hey when i'm doing school i need you to just kind of like give me my space but i promise i'll prioritize you later whatever it takes to remove that distraction also if your distraction is sound get some noise canceling headphones or wear some earplugs just wear earbuds whatever it is to just like get the sound out Next tip, which is tip number three, is to have a specific work study area. So please do not do it on your bed. It's just not right. Your mind connects your bed with sleeping, which means doing work there will only make you tired. And you don't want to like lay down in bed at night and suddenly only be thinking about physics or trigonometry or whatever school subject you are doing there all day. Your bed is for sleeping and taking naps on. Your desk, your dining room table, your kitchen countertop, your living room chair, your couch, that's your school area. And make sure your area is organized. It's kind of nice to have a good organized area to have a good organized mind. Tip number four is to get dressed and ready every single day. That means get dressed however you would if you were going to school. I mean, like, I don't really dress that nice, but change out of your pajamas in any way that is. If you like wearing jeans, if you like wearing t-shirts, long sleeves, to clothing, you know, put on makeup if that's what you like, put on jewelry if that's what you usually do. Anything that, like, puts you in the mindset of, like, all right, work time. Tip number five, have an accountability partner. This, like, helped me out so much during quarantine. I had, like, four accountability partners. It's just, like, really important to have someone you trust to think of your well-being over your feelings. Um, because, like, that's what it really comes down to. So you need to, like, trust someone to be like, no, you're gonna get this done today because you said you're gonna get this done today so that tomorrow you don't have a meltdown, even if you don't want to do it right now. So find a good accountability partner. Going off of that, tip number six, take responsibility. The first step to getting better is admitting you have a problem. And that's true, like it really is. If you sit there and you're like, oh my gosh, like the only reason I procrastinate is because like we're online school. Like why would they put us on online school? Like, oh my gosh, the only reason I don't like that class is because the teacher sucks, uh, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. If you're constantly putting the blame on anyone other than yourself for sleeping in too late, not getting enough sleep, for being tired, for being lazy, like that's not helping anyone. And I don't really feel bad for you. And it's probably really annoying to everyone else if we're gonna be completely honest. So just take responsibility. Now that doesn't mean that a crappy teacher, like if you get a B in a class and you worked really hard on an assignment, that doesn't mean that you're a bad student. If you're putting in the work, if you're taking the time, if you're proving that you are going to be a good student and you're going to work hard, then like that's taking responsibility of your life, okay? So stop complaining and just do it, take responsibility. On top of that, tip number seven, take initiative and take charge of your classes. If you have a crummy professor, see if you can switch your class, especially you can tell on that first day if you're gonna like a professor or not. If, even if it like rubs you wrong just a little bit, you can either drop the class, move it to a different semester, or try to switch the class to something you would enjoy, with someone you would enjoy more or figure out a way to get in touch with your professor and be like, you know, what's this class gonna be like? Do you think I'll succeed in this class? Take initiative over your courses. You'll have such a, like a such better semester if you do that. Tip eight, and this one was like a really 
unique tip, but actually a really good one. Not actually, they're all really good tips, but this one is do not start a new TV show. Like if you wanna watch a TV show at the end of the night, that's great, but do not start a new one because I mean, personally, I binge watch. So last semester I watched through like the Fosters and Gilmore Girls and The Office, Parks and Rec, like a bunch of shows. And when I start, I like wouldn't stop. Dash and Lily, I watched that in like two days because it's like, no, it's just not in the background. No, 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 no. It's a distraction, don't do it. Just like wait until the end of the semester or wait until spring break to binge watch a show. But I thought that was a really good tip. Tip nine, when you start losing like concentration in your area, if things are just kind of like distracting you, like, oh my gosh, that stain. Oh my gosh, that smell. Oh my gosh, this window, whatever it is, move. Move to the corner, turn your chair around, go sit on a different couch, sit in a different position, whatever it is, change your environment in some way so that you can concentrate more in your classes. Tip 10, this is so important. Get out of your room. Seriously, just like get out of your room, okay, okay, okay? And then once you're out of your room, go outside for five minutes, walk around in circles, sit on your porch, sit on your stairs, sit on the grass, roll down a hill, I don't know, go for a walk, take your dog for a walk, take your cat for a walk, take your lizard for a walk, whatever can walk, walk it, walk yourself. Go outside, take a walk, get some fresh air. It's really good for you. It's good for your mental health. You need that vitamin D. And tip 11, this will help you stay in the zone of studying is I have a specific study music. Okay. I listen to lo-fi beats and I only listen to that when I'm studying. So when that is on, I am in study mode. Okay. Like study mode. When you have a specific thing that reminds you of studying, it reminds you of working hard and concentrating, often your brain will continue to connect that and it'll be easier. It'll be like, turn on lo-fi music and I'm like, okay, working. And last semester, I actually started doing that. The second I turned on music, the second I was more productive. So find good music. Do not have lyrics because like, you wanna sing, you wanna memorize, you wanna do whatever it is you're thinking about the lyrics. Have like lo-fi beats, piano music, but just like find your thing. All right, moving on to the third section, school. Tip one, print out your syllabi. Print out your syllabi and have it accessible. Make sure you're checking up on it every day. Very helpful. Tip two, make sure you're familiar with the online format. If you're still like a couple semesters in already and you don't know your online format, now is the best time to research that. I would just, you know, maybe go look at it. Google Classroom, Zoom, Canvas, Blackboard, whatever you're using, like figure out how to use it. I think it'd be very helpful. Tip number three is going to be very helpful for me this semester on learning how to absorb what I'm reading. And it is to interact with what you are reading. I know a lot of us have online textbooks right now, which can be really frustrating because I skim over online stuff because it's annoying. But it's really important to interact with your readings. So as you're reading, read out loud. I, I like to read out loud and like ask yourself questions as you're going. If you have a physical textbook that you can highlight in, highlight. If you can't, put sticky notes on it that's great and then you can write in notes on the sticky notes and at the end of the semester you can take out the sticky notes no damage to the textbook that you then have to return tip four be engaged in your classes stay off your phone that's it tip five one thing that will help is having a good relationship with your professors and being engaged in your classes will help you build that relationship so make sure at the beginning of your semester, the second you find out who your professor is, send them an email. Hey, my name's Naomi. I like purple. No, I don't like purple. I don't know why I said that. I like blue. I, I'm so excited to take your class. What can I do here? Extra credit. Just like prove to them that you're going to be a good student and you're ready to interact every week. Send a question. Okay, tip number six is before your class time, read over your classwork and write down questions. So let's say you're going to learn about how trees grow 
and you read about it and there's this like little detail about why bark is brown and you're like I don't understand that write it down and at the end of class ask your professor this is also going to prove to your professor that you're engaged and you really care about the class okay tip seven know your learning style I am going to look at my laptop to read these off to you there are four learning styles okay there is visual learners, auditory learners, reading and writing learners, and kinest kinesthetic learners. Um, so go take a quiz and Google them to figure out how you can learn best. This can really affect your learning abilities and like how you study. Tip eight, start on assignments early. If you wanna have good classwork and you wanna feel like you've taken responsibility and you've taken charge of your classes, Get your assignments done over like a good amount of time. Take a week to write your research paper, not a night. You know, like really important. It helps you be more thorough and more thoughtful and you just feel better about your work once you're done. Tip nine is to take advantage of outside resources. So stuff like Khan Academy, which is awesome for almost everything and other sites like Khan Academy. You also have YouTube. You can find almost everything on YouTube, especially for science nowadays. And then also have like a study group. Find out people in your classes who would be willing to Zoom study with you or a friend who's taking the same course as you or who has taken the same course as you. Maybe get a tutor or look into something like that. Just like use the resources you have to further your education. Tip 10 is to have like a semester reference sheet, which like I think is kind of optional, but it's still kind of a fun thing to do. And I think I'll try it out this semester. So on this reference sheet, you'll write down like Zoom class times, big assignment deadlines, um, spring break dates, password information, login information, um, like important things to remember. Oh, teacher contact information, like important things that you want to have to be able to reference back to at any time. Tip 11 is to be proactive about your grades. This is actually a really, really good tip. And if you talk to anyone who has ever gone to college, this is, whoa. This is something they would really recommend. I know my sister and brother do, sisters and brothers do, um, because like you wanna know why you got that grade. And yes, sometimes you'll get crummy professors who you'll take them your grade and you'll be like, why? And they're like, cause, I had a professor like that and it was really, really discouraging, but keep working hard. You, you'll you figure out their style and maybe you'll just get Bs. That's what happened to me. I would take my papers to my professor and he would go, it's perfect, I loved it. You did one sentence wrong, that's why you got a B. And that was all I could do with it. Um, but it is important to know why you're getting the grades you're getting. If you're getting good grades, maybe email your professor. Be like, hey, I wanna make sure I maintained this. What do you think I'm doing that is working? What could I improve on to make sure that I don't, you know, falter, whatever. Again, good relationship with your professors comes in handy when you're trying to deal with grades. Tip 12, and this is so important, yet somehow like no one knows it. Check your email. Seriously, guys, check your email. There's amazing resources that your college provides, like job fairs and college fairs and like extra credit opportunities, deadlines change sometimes. Sometimes you have a longer amount of time to do something. Sometimes classes are canceled, Zoom passwords are changed, Zoom class times are changed. Like right now, anything could change at any time. Heck, a pandemic could happen. You could be sent home for 12 months, okay? So like, it's really important to check your email. All right, final section is health. Tip one, wear blue light glasses. I did not realize how important this was, but it's very important. These are my blue light glasses. I got a pack of three on Amazon for, I want to say maybe $15, but you can get one pair for seven bucks, maybe even $4 in some places. And if you don't want to buy blue light glasses, which is totally fine, you can actually change your laptop to have like a blue light effect. So it's not hurting your eyes so bad. So do that, it's really important for your eye health. Tip two, do daily affirmations and just try to work on your mindset. You'll be much happier every day if you're not constantly angry in your mind. And if you are, maybe talk to a therapist also, but like sometimes just doing a daily affirmation in the morning to make sure you are in a good mood is really helpful. I love the Bible app because it helps me connect with people 
and there are some really good plans on there that help me change my mindset and just to have like a more positive outlook on things. Tip three, work out two to three times a week. It is really important to take care of your body. And if you work out, then you can go to bed earlier because you're tired because you worked out and you'll be healthier because you've been working out. So it's just a really important thing to do. And it just kind of like keeps you active, keeps you going. Tip four, a repeat, but it needs to be said again, go outside and take a walk every day. Tip five is to take full day breaks every now and then, which is just also a really good tip, really good tip. Um, it's important to just sometimes like step back and take one day. My day is usually Sundays unless I'm working. And if I'm working, then I'll work on school. But if I'm home, I don't usually do school on Sundays. And I know that's a luxury, but I really prioritize to take off one full day a week and or at least like a majority of the day each week but if you can't do that strive for one day a month or one day every two weeks to just like get your work done and take one whole day to put away your phone and just like enjoy life i think it's really important tip six is to start preventing burnout like as soon as possible I'm really bad about this, but I worked on it more last semester and I still burned out. It's important to just like prioritize yourself and your time. And somehow near the end of my semester, I stopped doing that and I prioritized our tours. I prioritized everything else. And so by the end, I was tired and I was deflated and I was sad and it just did not make me feel good. So I know this semester, I really need to stay on top of that even when it is finals week or midterms week or whatever it is, it's important to like prioritize things you wanna get done and to continue working on that healthy mindset. Tip seven, stay hydrated. Like seriously, it's so important to stay hydrated. I drink like five of these a day i think it's 32 ounces and i have another 32 ounce um nalgene bottle as well but like you'd be so surprised how much more energy you'd have if you stayed hydrated and you need to eat also so have three full meals every day and little snacks in between all right tip number eight the finale separate work from play every day bars no but at the end of the day you are done okay when you are done with your homework you are done and if that means you're done at 10 p.m great you're done you put it away and you get ready for bed and you go to bed but like when you are done you need to just like i'm relaxed now do whatever it is to get you zen change back into your pajamas turn on your party music make yourself dinner go get starbucks go grocery shopping play with your dog, go for a run, work out, whatever it is that will differentiate stressful school work, productivity, compared to like chill, calm, me time. That's the final tip. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I'm really excited for this next semester. Whoa. I'm really excited for this next semester having like a little bit more of an outline. Oh my gosh excuse me i'm excited to have like more of an outline and more things that i'm going to work on i already have gotten like a new planner more lists colorful pens and notebooks picked out all of that good stuff and i'm working on reorganizing my room and yeah it's i'm just i'm excited you can be excited for school it can be good i am really sorry if you do not like being online but try to make the best of it facetime friends zoom call friends if you can quarantine with a friend or if you're not that strict, then have a friend over to do school every day. Like whatever it is that like makes this time more enjoyable for you. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.